What's going on guys? Um, Wade Lockwood here. Today we have a little food review of uh, Carson's Market of UW-Madison Lakeshore. Um, today we have a cheeseburger, all your essentials. We got a, oh, put it right here. Uh, all right, today we got a cheeseburger with all your essentials. You got lettuce, um, onion. You know, I put a little Thousand Island on my dressing, or on my burger. Um, figure it's pretty legit. Um, and then we got some pickles on there, as well as a ranch doused piece of pizza. Uh, I'm not sure entirely all what's on this. It looks to be a mix of sausage, chicken, and pepperonis. Um, so that's kind of interesting, but you know, I'm gonna place my toppings right on the burger here. Looks pretty legit. Looks like a pretty nice patty. Um, bun feels a little bit stale, but you know, you get what you get. You don't throw a fit um, where I come from. So we're just gonna pop right in, um, take a little bite. Mmm. Wow, that's actually a lot better than I was expecting. That's pretty damn good. Kind of, it actually tastes pretty fresh. Um, You'll see the meat is actually a little bit red on the inside. I like my burgers medium rare, so, you know, pleases to pleases me. Mmm. Mmm. This is a lot better than I was expecting, I can't lie. Um, just keep munching. Mmm. You know, I've come to a realization lately, and that's the Thousand Island dressing works on literally any sandwich you can ever imagine. It works on, obviously, the traditional Reuben. It works on a chicken sandwich. Now I realize it works on a burger. It's fire. It's a good sandwich. Mmm. One complaint I have about all the dining halls in general, the pickles they give you, not very dilly, not very uh, rich, pretty mid pickles. But uh, other than that, onions are pretty fresh, lettuce is pretty fresh. Mm. Tasty burger, quality tasty burger. Um. Anyways, next we're going to dive into the pizza. First, I'm going to take a quick sip of this uh, Gatorade that I have. Um, when I was resting my phone on. Mm. Gatorade's Gatorade. You guys know what it tastes like. Um, hmm. Okay, so I don't think this pizza is going to be as good as the burger. The burger is pretty valid. I would give it like a... In terms of burgers, probably like a seven, but in terms of like dining hall food, probably like probably like an eight, eight point five maybe. It was, it was pretty good. Um, anyways, so now we have this pizza. Actually, in terms of dining hall food, probably a nine, because um, it was like real, like that was like a real burger, which I'm astounded by. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we got some pizza here. I always douse my pizza in ranch. Uh, I just think it adds flavor. Um, so we're just gonna bite. Uh, it's got sausage, chicken, pepperoni. Bizarre combo. Never really seen it done before, but you know, I'm always open to new things. Try everything once. Uh, let's pop right in. Well, yeah, it's all right. Like, I feel like I commonly have this conversation with people when discussing pizza. Pizza in itself is almost impossibly to make taste bad on its own. Like, if you just have, like, a traditional piece of pizza, it's going to taste good. 
um, because it's pizza, it's cheese, bread, um, fucking tomato sauce, and whatever toppings you like on there, it's going to taste good. Um, but there's a spectrum of pizza. There's bad pizza, which is still good. Good food tastes good, but it's bad pizza. And then there's good pizza, which is incredible food and great pizza. Um, this is probably, like, really bad pizza. Um, but, I mean, I still enjoy it. Um, it seems to be not as fresh as I'd usually like. You can see the cheese there. It seems a little bit dry. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm hungry, so it's hitting. But, uh, honestly, if your pizza's worse than Do uh actually, I'm a huge Domino's hater. I don't even know if I would say this is worse than Domino's. Um, I think Domino's fucking sucks. But, sorry, there's some big news going on in the news. You guys, uh, it's all the Oxford shooting. Yeah. Fucking Ethan Crumbly, that piece of shit. He's getting sentenced right now. Oh. I'm not sure how well the audio is going to go through on this video, but, yeah, we'll see. So, yeah. Um, let's just hold down one quick. Um, so yeah, uh, burger was probably like a, yeah, I already rated the burger. It was like a nine dining hall standard, seven burger standard. Seven's pretty good. Seven uh, in terms of like the normal rating from a dining hall, seven is really good. I would say it's better than a Burger King burger, um, but not as good as a McDonald's burger. So like right in that gray area, it's like a. Nah, uh, yeah, in between, in between Burger and King McDonald's. Um, in terms of the fucking pizza, uh, it was probably like a little bit better than Domino's in my opinion. I know a lot of people love Domino's that would get pissed off if they heard me say that, but um, no, I think Domino's sucks and that pizza was mid as hell. Um, I still enjoyed it because I'm hungry. Um, so, and I put ranch on it, which definitely helped. But, yeah, um, that's basically my food review for today of Gordon's Market in uh, the UW Mad University of Wisconsin-Madison, the Lakeshore. Um, thank you for watching, and I will uh, catch you in the next episode.